guys how you guys doing so if you guys are like me you guys are driving you guys are watching this video you guys are driving a car of a CVT transmission and you guys have that whining noise and this is a common thing with CVT transmissions so I have a, a 2008 Nissan Altima and I am on my second CVT transmission and let me give you guys a little backstory on my CVT issues with my original CVT transmission that I had on this car I bought it at 150,000 miles I did not know anything about CVT transmissions did not have to whine when I bought it I don't think or it was really subtle but over time the whine was louder that got it got louder and louder and louder and louder and I drove for 50,000 miles with that whine to the point where it was just screeching every time I put my foot on the accelerator uh, didn't know what the issue was thought it was a bearing issue or some kind of a mechanical issue that was outside my engine on my car so I thought it was something that was an issue with the wheel bearing and I never got the CVT transmission trained or flush or anything like that because um, I've never had a CVT transmission before. Um, Non-CVT non transmissions, you don't normally get um, the transmission flushed or, or, or change the CVT transmission fluid after a certain mileage. Uh, for the most part, over 100,000 miles, you don't do it. But I didn't know anything about CVT transmission, so I just drove it like that for 50,000 miles. And, you know, and it broke on me. So, I got a second transmission put in. I drove it. There was no, no noises after um, I put the transmission, second transmission in. But, over time, the noise came back. Not only did it come back, but I, my car was going to safe mode, which um, I had not experienced ever outside of that those experiences I had with the second CVT transmission that uh, that uh, by the way I still have but I did I had to go and do a lot of research on it because I did not want to get another transmission because uh, even though that second transmission cost me twelve hundred dollars to put in it was relatively not uh, not expensive relatively speaking it wasn't you know the most that I would uh, for a CVT transmission it was kind of cheap on the cheap end but I did some research and I found out that you need to change your transmission fluid every 40 to 60,000 miles so I did that I did that on my own I did videos on it you guys want to check out some of my DIY CVT transmission drains check it out uh, if you guys go to the garage to do it they'll charge you anywhere from I believe they'll charge you like 150 because there's no drain plug. You gotta take the pan out and then empty it. You know, it's a little bit more intensive than doing um, doing a a uh, oil uh, en engine change. But I have a couple of videos up. I did, uh, and and they're pretty easy to do. It's a little switch up. You take the CVT, CVT transmission from the top. But my point is, it did fix the, the whining noise. After I changed the fluid, the whining noise, it's no longer there. It drives smooth. There's no, there's no safe mode that comes up or anything like that. And, and I could drive it like that for a good period of time before you know the whining noise comes back and then I'd have to change the CVT fluid again. But you're going to have to do that anyway, particularly if you have a transmission with a really, uh, a really high mileage on your, on your CVT transmission as I do. Now I'm on my second CVT transmission. I have about 100,000 miles, across the 100,000 miles uh, about a month ago on that CVT transmission that was put in. and. You know, I do my CVT fluid change um, every couple months. 
and it's helped maintain my CVT transmission uh, quite a bit. Haven't had any real breakdowns of the transmission. Um, obviously, the noise will come back. The CVT noise and whine will come back. Um, like like every other CVT um, CVT transmission car, and you know it goes into safe mode when it gets hot out and and i you know and i've driven it for quite a number of miles but there, it's gonna happen with most a lot of cvt transmission cars anyway uh, after a certain mileage but if you guys want to fix do a quick fix on that cvt noise and cvt um safe mode thing just change your fluid it should get rid of your problem and you should be able to drive your car for you know maintain your car for like a pretty good period of time before you got to do it again and you got to you got to you got to change the fluid um, on these CVT transmissions i mean there's no way around that those that CVT transmission in your car that CVT fluid in your car um, that that's that's something that that needs to be changed you know it's it's in the it's in the manual, and normally you gotta do that for every forty thousand to sixty thousand miles. But you know, change it as much as possible, and that CVT transmission will, you know, it, it'll 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 be good. You guys won't have any issues with the whining noise, and and it won't go into safe mode. But that's the first thing that you guys should do if you guys have any issues with your CVT fluid. I mean, with your CVT transmission. But if you guys did uh, get any help from this video, please um, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Please subscribe and um, take care, guys.